So an oscillator maybe is not as spectacular as a Tesla coil, but it can as well light up gas tubes on it. And also you have a pretty strong uh, high frequency magnetic field ready to use. I made several of these uh, vacuum tube oscillators single-ended with an external uh, tank capacitor, not using just the stray capacitances of the tube, uh, but not powerful like this one here. I made a similar one with a PL504 tube, but uh, it couldn't go much past 400 volts of sub voltage because I used this capacitor here as external tank capacitor and uh, this is an uh, high performance capacitor ceramic but uh, also high voltage but uh, it heated up a lot i tried to heat sink it this way but uh, the heat was too much but now with this oscillator here i can reach uh, like uh, one kilovolt or sub voltage thanks to this the oscillator is made of trash, as promised. The only special part is obviously the tube. This is a G50 uh, Soviet tube, pretty cheap at the end as tube. The rest is just trash. Uh, even the power sap is made of trash, but I'm not going to talk about the power sap because this is uh, an old friend. Anyways, there are uh, two uh, polypropylene capacitors here and here. These are for the sap voltage bypass and grid to bypass. Then there is a simple 68K resistor for the grid leak of grid one. This capacitor here that you maybe can see. Okay, this capacitor comes from the uh, antenna input of uh, black and white vintage TVs and it's uh, fairly high voltage, 470 picofarads and this is for the uh, feedback of the oscillator. This coil here is made with pieces, uh, tucked pieces of copper wire coming from micro oven magnetrons. Inside the magnetron the, there are a pair of coils made of copper wire and uh, uh, these are good and tucked. In fact, there are like three pieces that I joined to make a longer piece of wire. I'm a terrible cheapskate, a cheap bastard. Anyways, uh, this resistor here... 15k, sorry for the exposure, maybe too much. Okay, this resistor here instead was rated for like 3 watts, but uh, I put an heat sink on it with also an, an, an aluminum cover and uh, for joining thermally the aluminum with the resistor inside, there is a thermal pad that maybe you can see. If you see the thermal pad, anyways, this to make a better thermal contact and insulate the resistor. And the specialty, okay, now it's better, is the tank capacitor of the tuning circuit. And it's made with two heat sink coming from an audio power amplifier that I don't know its power. The amplifier was devastated. I couldn't save it. Anyways, this thing is high performance, high voltage, and it's like 120 picofarads in total. You can see the fins going the one inside the other. And in case this thing uh, arcs, uh, no problem, just uh, uh, cleaning it and it's uh, good as new. And this black and white image with the weird symbols is colored schematic. Okay, let's try this thing. The cathode is hot inside the tube that you can see here. Let's turn on the variac and let's bring it to... 500 volts DC. Okay, perfect. We have this small fluorescent tube. I don't need to touch it. And it stays on. Up to some distance. Okay, 
the highest voltage spot is basically on, is basically on the capacitor on the tank capacitor because and it's good because the tank capacitor is wide anyways now this this is a sodium lamp tube and it glows uh, bluish whitish purplish and now a treat this this is uh, uh, an electronic circuit with transistors that runs off an electric field look I'm not touching anything and it blinks this is my patented <laughs> electronic circuit running off an electric field it blinks yeah uh, the range is not uh, very good but yeah no it doesn't speed up if I get closer anyways you can see this circuit here better described in this video here okay now the magnetic field uh, with these toys here let's bring it again to quotes on quotes a low voltage 500 volts is perfect enough oh so perfect okay let's take this light bulb 3 volts light bulb with just one turn and you have to match the plane of the coil to let it turn on otherwise no power okay and now this this is a random low voltage motor from a uh, bird trimmer I'm not sure and uh, there is just <clears throat> a bypass filter capacitor on it and a uh, 1N4148 diode put this way and and it works on the coil with not even a complete turn of wire ok ok now full power I have here uh, this uh, plasma globe plasma globes are not too easy to ignite in fact you need a true high voltage for igniting them anyways now i'm gonna bring it to uh, like uh, more than 900 volts and we are at uh, 400 600 750 800 830 okay and now it's on 900 volts a bit more and it does this okay lower but yeah okay now arcs uh, a small arcs uh, disclaimer let's bring it to uh, 900 volts 9 
Okay, and this is the result. Yeah, I know it's puny. Anyways, uh, considering that uh, some users uh, some time ago asked me if my oscillators uh, make arcs, uh, yeah, this one makes uh, small arcs. Okay, now something odd. I have this uh, flicker bulb here, classic flicker bulb, filled with neon, and it turns on, obviously, on the oscillator, but it also does something weird. Okay, let's turn on the variac. Let's bring it to... Okay, side note, at 500 volts, it draws less than 50 milliamperes. And anyways, this oscillator runs at 10 megahertz. Anyways, let's resume the experiment. Let's reach 800 volts. Okay. It turns on at distance, but if I stuff it inside, it gradually makes more and more light. Look, look. Ooh. It makes a lot of light. Ooh, it's green, I don't know. Let's bring it down. Okay. And yeah, I'm not sure if it's uh, inductively coupled plasma, but uh, maybe, probably, uh, not sure. Never seen with uh, a tube like this. And you may think, uh, why not making an HF with TTC? Well, uh, I tried with this coil here. That is kind of tuned to uh, 11 MHz or 10 MHz inside the primary. In fact, uh, I stuffed this coil here in the coil, in the tuning coil, but uh, the circuit went crazy, <laughs> maybe because this tuning coil is uh, too tight around the secondary. Uh, probably with a wider coil, it works better, but I popped the component <laughs> and I'm not trying this again, but it didn't work at all, no sparks, nothing. So I abandoned the idea. Maybe, maybe it's too complex to do with this type of oscillator a classic HF VTTC with a classic schematic is much better. Anyways, thanks for having watched my video and bye!